What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. And today, I'm getting ready to show you what McDonald's wish they sold. I'm gonna give you guys my version of the Travis Scott burger. Listen, and it's, we gonna call it the 2.0. We finna go over these ingredients. I'm not finna over talk it. Listen, my mouth is watering, and I'm ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. So, let's get over these ingredients. Gotta have a sesame seed bun, right? Hey, hands down, you gotta have it. Listen, because we're trying to replicate it. And really, it's nothing but a quarter pounder with cheese with some bacon and lettuce. That's what set makes it, you know, the Travis Scott burger. But we're gonna put our own little spin on it. Now, here, I'm using Farmer John. Look, this that thick cut bacon. This right here is my bacon of choice. Sometimes I like to get your apple wood, but this right here is what we're gonna go with today. And today, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this medium cheddar cheese. We're gonna use these slices right here to put on top. But this is what's gonna be the key right here. Look, when you guys see I make burger, burgers, I like to use 80-20 blend. That means 80% lean, 20% fat. And to be honest with you, when I do like a big uh, function, I usually do 70-30. I get a custom uh, grind, you know, from my butcher. We gotta have an onion. And then look right here. You know they put that, that mustard, and that, this is just nothing but ketchup. Put it in here so I can control it. And then look, when you say Travis Scott, you know he has his with a Sprite, and that's what we're gonna have it with also. Now, what you're not seeing is a lettuce, and I'm gonna start with the lettuce because we're gonna shred the lettuce. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my bacon. We're gonna go ahead and just start putting some slices on now. Let's start getting them ready. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and get us some shredded lettuce, right? So I'll just take this like this. It doesn't take a whole lot, right? So I'll put this back in my refrigerator. We'll look at it like this, and I'll probably just give it, yeah, this is fine right here. Just like you see. And this would be what we put on top. I put my lettuce right here, you know, my little shredded lettuce. You can shred them as small and thin as you like them to be. I got my bacon here on this plate. Let me go ahead and just put my, let's do this now. Let's make some room for, you know, for our, our cheese, and now this little spot right here is gonna be for this. Now, what I'm gonna do is, we finna go ahead, cut this onion up. We'll just move that over there like that. Man, you guys cut it however you wanna cut it. it. Doesn't really matter. You know what, let me go ahead and just peel this real quick. Okay, now look, I could have cut this, put some slices, you know what I mean, and had them in the big, you know, circles, right? But that's not, we're gonna try to make it at least attempt to be like a Travis Scott's burger, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have just like this, and it'll make sense to you in just one second. Why? Because I'm gonna take some of these like this, especially these right here, and we're just gonna lay these across the burger, that's all. So really, this is just a, a burger that we probably make at the house, but we just gonna make it look the way we like for it to look, you know what I mean? And then we gonna go from there. All right, so what you can see right here, got everything laid out. Gonna be easy, real easy for me to go ahead and garnish, right? So I'll just set this off to the side over here. Now we're getting ready to work with our meat. Now, meat, we gonna keep it simple. We finna just go. Now, when I say keep it simple, this is what I mean right here, right? So look, we started out with one pound of meat, you know, that ground beef. All you gotta do is divide that equally into four, you know, I guess you can call them like balls or patties. And there you go, you got four quarter pounders. Now take a look at this. You don't see the four balls, right? Cause in my mind, I'm so used to making smash burgers. That's what I was getting ready to do, right? But this is the Travis Scott, you know, burger 2.0. So what I did was I combined both of these like this, like you see there, and I made one patty. So we just finna form that, right? Just form it, and again, no salt, no pepper, not until, not until I get them on top, and then we're gonna go there. I just smash it down this way. I just want it to be nice and round, 
to look. We don't want it to look like that. We're going to send this to McDonald's and we're going to tell them, hey, this the burger y'all wish y'all to made. Now, I'm liking this here. That's it. Now, let's get them on the grill. All right, now we're going to talk about these buns right here. This is why we're going to call it the 2.0. Not the fact that we started out really half pound patties, right? But we're going to take this. Let me go ahead and get my mayo. Instead of using butter, you guys, look. For those of you guys that know about this already, hey, let me know down in the comment section below. This right here, this is my favorite mayo right here. This is what we're going to put on here. And we're going to get this on the grill and we're going to toast these buns just like you see here. If you guys have not done this, you had it before. I'm sure if you ate at a burger stand, somebody has done this already. You didn't know, but you were talking about, oh man, that burger was so good. That's because they went ahead and just, you know, flat top this mayo into your bun. You think the butter is uh, incredible? This right here is just sends it over the top. Now I want you guys again to let me know what you think about that. And if you already tried it, let me know down in the comment section below. So we got them like this, right? Up. Now, let's go ahead and get them on this flat top. Now get ready to sprinkle a little salt. Don't need much. And we come with a little pepper. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Hey, that right here, that's fire. So we'll just set this over here. Let's check this one. I'm loving it. Look at this right here. All right, it's nice and juicy. I don't want to mess them up. Set it over there. You can see that juice, can't you? And when I say juice, I can just, hey, I'm just saying the deliciousness, deliciousness. Look at that right there. Now, we'll just set it there. And we'll wait and get everything set up. Let's go ahead and do it this way. We'll put these over the top. And we go from there. Look, just finna flip it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let it, you know, cook just a little bit of salt. And again, we're gonna come with that, that pepper on the top. Now, if, okay, look, putting the cheese on the bottom bun, because that's just the way they did it. I just want to tell you, look, the cheese is not quite as big, and, you know, as the bottom bun, right? So I ended up using two. Hey, that's all. Plus, it's a 2.0 version. Now we'll just go ahead and put some of this cheese on here like this. I'll probably add another slice onto it just when it's done, once we get them off. But this one, I want to melt completely on top. And we'll get a little steam going. Hurry up and help, me, help it melt on the end. All right, so these are done, right? So we'll take them. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and set this right here. Just like that. Okay, so here, you see that, right? We got the cheese, you know, just from the heat from the patty, it helps it melt. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just start adding, you know what I mean, some of our bacon to it. I like a lot of bacon, you know what I mean? Uh, remember, this is the 2.0 version, you know, so we'll just go like that. You know what, why not? Now, we'll go ahead and get us some of this lettuce. We'll put some of this on the top. I know you right now everybody like, oh yeah. Now I'm thinking like, man, I might as well go ahead and do the Big Mac, you know? Right? And then we're gonna add a little onion to it. Now you understand why I did the onions the way I did, right? But again, listen, you make them the way you wanna make them. This is just my version, because I'm finna call McDonald's myself and tell them, hey, you really should have made an AV, a S and G with AV burger. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this. Man, look at this bud right here. Hey, this right here is gonna be fire, folks. So let me just shake it up, get this down here like this. Let's just go ahead. You gotta be able to have your condiments and be able to taste them, right? 
So let me shake this mustard up. How many of y'all had used mustard when you first use it? And then sometimes you turn it up and then you just squirt it and it, it got that liquid. Got everything on here, right? But I forgot one key ingredient and only way it's gonna fit right is if I take it off right here. We're gonna take these onions off and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these pickles. Look how big these slices are right here. Ah, uh, yeah, for those of you guys who like pickles, this is it. Totally optional. But listen, this is gonna be the 2.0 version of the Travis Scott, right? So we'll just do it like that. Take this top, we'll put this over here just like you see here. I'm gonna go ahead and just mash it down. And you guys tell me what you think. I think McDonald's should call me up and we should do an S and G with AB 2.0. Right? Now, again, I see everything falling off, but don't worry. We fix it all. Now who wants this burger right here? Now check this out. When I push this bun down on there, you see that uh, that mustard right there? Hey, that right there is fire. Just the way it just like spreads out, right? Now listen, if this doesn't say burger porn to you guys, then I don't know what will. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you take it all in and you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Okay, so now you can see the assembly of the whole thing, right? Hey, listen, I'm laughing, mouth is watering. I'm ready to tear into this. Hey, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up right now. You know, I'm gonna get a swig of that and wash this down with this. So check it out. Let's just go ahead and pick it up. You see it, I'm gonna bring it up close for y'all to see this right there. And now I'm just gonna figure out, you know, where do I want to tear it to it at? So, uh, hey, cheers, y'all. <laughs> Check it out, look at this burger right here. Look inside. When it's done right, it's done right. Mm -hmm. I want everybody down in the comment section below. Let's name this burger. What should it be? My vote is S and G with A B 2.0. I love to read your, you know, your comments and see what you guys come up with. Look, I'm trying to hurry up and wrap this up because I'm ready to tear into this. Let me go ahead and get my my mouth clear. Mmm. Hey, forgive me, you guys. You probably ain't never seen me get out like this, but this right here is right. Let me wipe up, clean up, and let's wrap it up. Man, that's good. So listen, I'm not finna over target or do nothing like that. You guys let me know again down in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, listen, we can turn it up. You guys send your suggestions, we'll do that too. Now, for all you people that are new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm finna pick it up a gear. I usually walk out, but I check it out. We gonna walk out like this. I got my burger, I got my Sprite, and I'm out of here. Peace.